Okay, now I'm going to point this out because anytime you come across some type of bone, you know, this is an old, looks like it used to be a buck here. See where its antlers were connected. Now one use with this skull here is these teeth. Okay, if you look at them, they're actually made for grinding, you know, that's how they chew their food. And it's almost like it's sharpened. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is how this would work on scoring a tree or helping you with um, getting the right size for your bow drill or whatever the case is it can help you with that okay if you can't find a rock or anything and you came across this uh, let me come over here to this pine tree I'm just gonna show you how this thing would work okay? Give her a quick test here. Okay, in that little bit of time, you can see how much it sawed in. Alright, that's not bad for just a deer bone jaw. Those teeth actually act like a saw. So, what I'm trying to say is, you get down to smaller pieces like bow drill type size pieces, like this right here, and you need, you know, you don't have a knife, well this can help you, because what it can do is score this, okay, you want to cut it right here, so you score this thing all the way around. Okay, you know, you're not going to saw clean through it, you know, super easy. It's not a metal saw. But you can see that I can score that thing real good, you know. It makes a nice groove, so we have a way to make our notch for a bow drill. And we have a way to score all the way around this thing to make a nice clean break where we want our bow drill to start. Okay, and the reason I'm showing you this is because if ever in a survival situation and you ran across this and you didn't have a knife, you need to pick this up because it can help you a little bit. Okay, and you can see that it's wanting to break right there. Alright, now this piece, you know, is a piece of pine tree. It's flexible and it ain't dead. So it's not gonna break real easy. But if you had a nice dead piece, it would actually snap right there for you if you scored all the way around it. So I just wanted to point that quick little tip out. You find a deer jaw with some good teeth on it, you can actually use that thing as a little bit of a saw. You know, like I said, score around a dead piece of uh, tool popper or something to get your bow drill set made up and you can use it to carve your notch. You can see right here that makes a nice you know V pattern. Okay and that's what it'll do I'm trying to get okay you see that nice V pattern it made? That'll make a nice notch for you. So if you don't have that tool to make that notch you know you're not gonna do it with a stick this right here will suffice for that. You can see them teeth See if we look down there, you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but they're they're in a V-shaped pattern. So that's what it's going to give you when you need that notch. So we find this on the ground, we pick it up, we put it in whatever we have to carry. Whether that's pockets, a backpack, or whatever. You cake it with you, if that's what you need. Even if you have a knife, it's not a bad idea, because you can, you can save that knife and use this for other things that don't really need as much work as a knife. So, there you have it, there's a deer bone jaw and a couple uses you can use it for.